Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make pets in Blender. Now, this is one of my most requested videos. You guys have been asking me for months on how to make pets, how do I make pets in Blender, all that good stuff. Um, so today, I'm finally going to be showing you how I make them. Now, keep in mind, this is probably not the best way to make them. Um, but I've been doing this style for my games for a while now. So, um, yeah, this is how you guys do it. So, the first thing I do is open up Blender. My version of Blender is 2.79. But if you guys want a 2.8 tutorial, uh, make sure to uh, comment and uh, like the video and I'll make sure to make a part 2 that's a 2.8 tutorial in the newer version of Blender. With that being said, let's get started. The first thing I do is go to the Create tab and I hit Cube. And the cube uh, went to like the side over here so all I do is hit Alt G to remove the locational data and it moves it back to the center. Um, from here we're going to go into edit mode and we're going to get started on the pet. So all you have to do is press tab in the edit mode and you guys can see it's really square here. We want it to be real cartoony, kind of smooth and uh, beveled. So what we're going to do is press tab in the edit mode and we're going to press control B and what control B does is bevels our cube. Um, so what the bevel does is just creates like kind of curves to the sides of it and it gives it a more smooth cartoony look which is what most like simulators or games that have this style of pet use. Um, so what we're going to do is press control B and then you need to tell it how far you want it to bevel. So I type 0.3 and it bevels the cube by 0.3. So the next thing you do is you specify how many segments you want it to have. Now the segments are the cuts on it and this just determines how smooth the cube is going to look when we bevel. Um, typically I try not to go too overboard, I do three or four segments, so we're just going to do four this time. So all you have to do is type four or roll your middle mouse four times. So as you guys can see we have a nice smooth cube, but you can see all the geometry on it, all these lines, and it doesn't look very nice. So what we're going to do is set the shading to smooth. So you go over here where it says tools, create, and shading UVs, and we're just going to go to faces and we're going to press smooth. As you guys can see, our cube got smooth. Next thing we're gonna do is create the legs. So I just entered in another cube. I press Alt G and I'm gonna move this one to the side for a second. And we're going to create the legs. So we have to repeat the same process as before. We're gonna bevel it uh, just like so. And now I want the legs to kind of curve in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is insert wireframe mode. So just go to viewport shading at the bottom. And where it says wireframe, click it, and you can see all the geometry of the leg. What we're going to do is press B, and B will let us box the leg, and we're going to select all the top parts just like this. You should have the top half of the leg selected. From here, all we're going to do is scale it in and drag it down. So now, if we press into edit mode, or solid, you guys can see our leg kind of curves in just like that. We're going to set our faces to smooth. And you can add any finishing touches. For me, I'm just going to hold Alt and right click and then uh, scale this part out a little bit so it's not so uh, curved straight and then outwards. So once you're happy with the leg, all you got to do is press S to scale it down and you got to duplicate it three times to create other legs. So just position it where you want the first one to be, scale it down, and then Shift D to duplicate, drag it over. Shift D to duplicate one more time, and there you have four sets of legs. You can kind of bring them up a little bit if you want them to, but now you have the legs and the body. From here, you can customize it further. Uh, let's say we want this to be a cat. I'm going to create some cat ears real quick using a cube. Uh, I just select these two edges and scale it in to get a triangle shape, and then scale it in on the y-axis to kind of make them flatter gonna bevel these two as well and insert a face here so press I to insert a face give it down Again, this part is totally up to you, depending on what pet you want it to be. For us, we're just doing a kitten in this video. So, I've made two sets of ears. What I'm going to do is set uh, the auto smooth, turn it on, 
We have nice uh, shaped ears. Just gonna duplicate that one more time. Next, I'm gonna make the tail. For the tail, I'm just going to use a cylinder. I'm gonna lower the vertices because you don't need like 30 vertices for a simple tail. Uh, for this, we're gonna use eight. Rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees, scale it down, and then drag it over. Just keep extruding and rotating the tail, just like a cat's tail would be. Then I'm just going to bevel the end. Once you're happy with that, you have a basic cat shape. I'm going to select everything, so press A, and then I'm gonna press Control J, and that'll join it all together so you, so you guys can see it's one mesh. Next, we're gonna color it. So you see this little corner over here? Just select it and drag it over. And then we're gonna switch the editor type, which is this button right here, to UV Image Editor. From here, we're gonna open up a color palette. And the color palette is basically just a picture with a bunch of colors on it and we're going to use that to color our mesh. So we want our cat to be maybe a gray color, I don't know, we'll choose when we open it. Uh, but just open up your color, edit your color palette and bring it over here. And from here we're going to um, color our cat. So we're going to go to view, perspective, ortho and then uh, go like set your camera to like the back or whatever. Uh, the face would be on and then press U, project from view. And as you guys can see, our cat is on this image. Now if you want to see the colors, just switch your viewport shading to texture and as you guys can see, uh, if we drag this over here to a color such as blue, our cat turns blue and so on. So I think I'm going to make my cat a uh, orange color. I'm using a gradient color palette so it goes from a darker orange to a lighter orange at the top. I'm just going to select these ears and then drag it to a pink color, kind of like this. Um, you can play around with these as well. Maybe drag them down to a darker color, so like a stripe. But yeah, that's a basic um, pet tutorial in Blender. You have to uh, put your faces on it in Studio as a decal, but that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, want a part 2 on 2.8, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.